Welcome everyone to another episode of Club Baroness. This one's going to be a big one with several guests. We're going to be discussing the second and third rounds of the draft tournament, as well as making some predictions for round four. Uh, we've got a robust guest list here, so we're going to move through it quickly. Just say hi. Uh, we've got Skimmy Style. Who's muted? Sorry, sorry I had myself muted. Uh, yeah. Hi, hello. We got math. <laughs> hey, what's up? Murder. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Also got Lil Carbon. Hello. We've got Jay, who can't speak for himself, so I'll speak for him. He's uh, here in spirit, maybe not in voice, <laughs> but in spirit. We've also got Orange Baby. Hola, and I'm now going as Snow Orange. Snow Orange. I thought he was part of the, the Fire Nation. You can't do that unless you actually pay to get your gamer tag changed. So until then, you're still just orange, baby. You have to pay to get your gamer tag changed. Part of the thing. I got started for counts. And we also have Zanxus, who is What's just Zanxus, right? Yeah, it is. All right, well, let's jump into this. Um, we'll give a quick overview of the stats right now. So after three weeks... Uh, team Ska Boss still leads with a 28.5 total points over Team Murder Ooh, with team 21, Skaboss. despite us losing slightly the last two weeks. So the first week was pretty rough uh, for Team Murder, but they have been slowly bringing themselves back in with five and three weeks in week two and week three. And so everybody's kind of selected some matches they want to talk about. We're not going to talk about quite every matchup. And even still, since it's almost every matchup at this point, we're going to try and keep it brief. Uh, so we'll just start with week two and start at the top of the list. Uh, Skimmy, you had selected to talk about Murder Mastodon and Evo versus Skaboss and Jester. So why don't you take it away, and then maybe we'll let some other people chime in on that matchup. All right, so, so the very most important part about this match, like before anything else that actually happened in the match, is uh, the, the quote of, I'm calling this the quote of the... Uh, of the tournament so far, the best quote of Phantom Dust ever, you know, ever, is made by Brigan when he was commentating on it. He, I'm pretty sure this was the match this happened, where he mentioned that um, everyone in the game was a cartwheeler, and it was a disease that's spreading. And honestly, <laughs> true facts. <laughs> All right, I agree. But, uh, I mean, I said it, yeah. but I still agree with it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, but seriously, uh, I mean, I definitely do like that quote. Uh, but in that the particular match, it was actually really, uh, it was really close. Like there was, it was a lot of back and forth. Uh, I believe that one was a three-two. Uh, it was it was a match of the captains, and it was just kind of, it was it was it was one thing I kind of wanted to see because I didn't when I joined the tournament, I didn't really know any of the players, and I was just like I kind of wanted to see how the captains themselves matched up. And uh, it, it really did live up to expectations. Like, it was, like, a really drawn-out, really great series that I, I really enjoyed. There was actually a couple of those this week. Man, just, just watching the matches, like, um, I, I, I watched some of the matches and all that, and I just, I miss being in, like, that tournament environment playing. So it's like, I watch the matches, and I'm like, oh, shit, I miss it. And some of the pairings and stuff that you guys are doing, have also been like like really good, so great matches overall. It's not too jo late to join our team, Zanxus. I'll I'll kick anybody. Get out of here, Math. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> I'll be trying to poach my sensei for your team. Does anybody else want to talk about that matchup themselves? All right, I'll take the silences moving on. Uh, I thought it was a great match. Uh, and the next one was also a really, really big banger. Uh, I think this one might have been the closest match we've had this tournament. And one of the closest we've ever had. I think it might be the longest series game-wise as well we've had in a tag tournament. Which was Guinan and Jay taking on Ebony and Mario. Which ended in a 3-2-2 in favor of Ebony and Mario. Uh, Jay, you mentioned you wanted to talk about that one, so let's... Oh, wait, you're not you're not real. You don't exist. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Math, why don't you take that one away for us? Well, 
that one was a uh, you know highly anticipated match. Uh, of course, uh, Geigner and Jay, a solid tag team, uh, two solid players. Everybody knows who they are with Ebony and Kamikaze, two of the the best players on you know Team Skabas. So I was super interested in it. You know, Ebony's defensive style is always just tough to take. It's just tough to go against. You know, every time you go against him, you're you're losing a skill. Sooner or later, you're you're gonna lose because he's gonna get in. Then he's gonna recall, relearn, and just outlast you. So I I was expecting it to be a very long match, um, and it was. Um, Gaiden and Jay had a great plan with that. Uh, what was it? Quantum Decay. Uh, what environment was that they used? Golly. The chaos. Yes, chaos. Yeah, with the uh, the DK, dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> was you that know, with the shatter and eliminate? Yeah, they did that uh, as well no. with it. I think they had two versions of it, but at least one of them yeah. had the uh, the shatter and eliminate too. Yeah. yeah, well, they were using chaos so that way they could um, they could use the array skills without being uh, with being able to be stopped by orb or. Uh, uh, orb or amulet that's what uh, yeah. i think he was talking about yeah because yeah, it, it, it negates um the recall loop you know for uh for ebony which is uh you know and that could cause an issue in his style of play so um it was a smart plan they did a good job executing it jay showed up big time he played amazing he was you know holding his own um a lot of solo play for him. He was like front line on him and basically unscathed on a lot of, you know, encounters. So big props to him. It was a good match, man. Went the distance. I thought it would go the other way, but you know. Wait a uh, second. I just realized Jay was trying to talk about his own matchup. No props for him. Pop that ego <laughs> balloon. Get out of here. Jay has yeah, to pick a different one a now. Match. Does anybody else want to chime in on that one? Somebody we haven't heard from? Oh, I was I would have, but I'm not someone we hadn't heard from. Go for it. Uh, I was gonna just mention that, like, kind of, I really, I like the idea that that they had, like, they had a a strategy specifically uh, tailored for that round, uh, and I really, I really enjoyed that. In fact, that was something that me and Orange did. I think it was, was it, was it round three? It, was, it wasn't the same round as this match because I think it was a round two match. But something me and Orange, we kind of had to build a strategy, build our own strategy, and like kind of, kind of like the idea of, you know, picking a plan, like making a plan and sticking with it, and, and it seemed like it was it was effective, you know, to some degree. Um, it, you know, unfortunately, it wasn't it didn't come out in their favor, but it, like it drew out the match, and uh, it was it was actually like that was probably just it was such a fun match to watch, probably the most fun of the of, uh, of that week, I think, to watch. Maybe the first time I've heard an ebony match called fun. <laughs> no, that was definitely a, that was a, a very entertaining match. Uh, very, very close with an exciting finish. Uh, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, this one was selected by Carbon to talk about, and it was Brawley and Snow Schmidt versus Darcia and Shadow Shield, which ended in Brawley and Schmidt's favor 3-2. Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about how that matchup went down, Carbon? So you know I had to pick the one that Jacob was in so I could make fun of him. And um, <laughs> there's, I thought, um, I wasn't really sure how it was going to go because, you know, Broly is, like, super aggressive and he's not afraid to go in there and just, like, name sword people to death. But the other thing is, is, like, he doesn't have Mike, which a lot of people can watch him and just kind of see what he's doing and kind of keep up with him. But, you know, Schmidt, I'm going to try and call him Schmidt and not Jacob. Schmidt, he struggles a lot with, um, he was really worried about the communication with not having a mic and stuff like that. But I think that it also came down to, there were a lot of miscommunications between Garcia and Shadow at times. And that um, there was just, there was a lot going on at times. There were a lot of 2v1s that probably could have been voided when it came down to it and there were a lot of times when the teams seemed to just split up into 1v1s and missed possible combo opportunities but 
Overall, I think it was like a really good close match. I know the silent rule on Pano like was going on, and um, I think it was very close at the very end. So you're saying that Schmidt started the rage of the Brawley backpack, and then Evo perfected it. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Um, like, I think I think it's very easy to say that like. There was a Broly backpack and stuff going on just because, like, seeing, like, Refinery, like, really, Broly did, like, I don't know, like, eight damage on Darcia before, like, Jacob even got to where he could do anything. And so, but when he did get in there, like, he definitely helped Broly make some good combo decisions and then um, definitely kept Darcia from uh, V1 and him. Man, even here, a guy that can't get his recognition. Uh, he was the original <laughs> Brawley backpack. Round one. The OG himself. The first backpack before all of the backpacks. Has anybody else got more they want to talk about that matchup? Yeah, I thought that uh, I thought that was actually going to be a really good matchup um, just because, of, as Carvin said, uh, Brawley's straightforward melee type style versus Shadow Shield. Um, you know, one hitter quitter type style. Numbers wise, um, Shadow Shield should win those interactions because he's hitting for big numbers. You know, you're done. So I thought they were gonna uh, actually pull that one out. Fortunately, I was wrong. Definitely a close and exciting series, and it's always just fun to watch Shadow Shield because of the, the big hits that you get to see. So especially the series that go long and you get to see him hit several of those are always exciting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the next matchup, uh, this one will be Oranges to take, uh, was Algal Mantis in Some Poor Choices versus Myself and Snow Rise. Uh, ended in a 3-0 for myself over Some Poor Choices. Uh, not for the first time either. Uh. Uh, I would like to say this is actually the best um, 3-0 match I've actually seen in a while. And I felt like if there was one thing that actually switched around, Team Murder would actually pull the win off. Don't start by giving him credit. (laughs) I'm telling you, on Palace, Team Murder was one judge of Aries away from winning that match. You had some bloody ritual action, took you off vibration... Just so close. Then um, next match was on. Um, can you help me out with this one, Brady? Was it Pano or was it Refinery? I don't remember when I stomped somebody in the ground that hard. Come on. Oh, it was so <laughs> close. I'm telling you. I honestly um, don't remember. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm just memeing about the rest, but I don't remember. Okay. No, but on, honestly, it was actually too close match on Pano. It actually came down to the wire. He was actually able to dodge a couple ricochet lasers and close it out with um, Lucifer's arrow. Then on Refinery, um, I want to say you and Snow actually had a little re and Willow pressure on them the entire match. So that one was, I want to say, the more one-sided match. But I'm telling you, it was a strong two games where Team Murder could have took it. But, you know, you actually showed up. Had a couple good <laughs> Why you got to say it. actually? <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're actually here in this channel. <laughs> Okay, I'm just saying. Sometimes... I'm just saying. You could actually not be in this channel. Get out. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> no, it's all funny games. But... Uh, yeah, it's all yeah. games. Uh, who, who else has anything else they want to add to this one? Uh, uh, that was a quick match. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Math. It was. Thank you. Thank you. All right, memes aside, we'll, we'll move on then. Seems like everybody's done with that one. Uh, last match for round two. Uh, looks like it was selected by Evolution, and I don't know if he is here yet. No, he said he's going to be late. He's not here, yeah. so maybe we'll go back to that one later. Uh, well, I guess the next one was his, too. Good job, Evolution. He didn't make it for either of yours. <laughs> uh, so then we'll move on to Skimmy's match. Oh, geez, I guess we're staying on the topic of me again. Dang it. Uh, it was Murder and PD versus Mario and myself. So go ahead and take that one away, Skimmy. Oh, Murder and PD versus... Uh, okay, yeah, that one. 
that one. I'm trying to think here. That one was actually. I'm trying to think here because I know that I'm mixing up the murder matches now from last week versus this week. Um, I'm trying to think here. What was that one? Because I'm. I, I feel like I'm mixing up two matches right now in my head, and I had a feeling that this might happen because we're going over two weeks' worth of matches. That yeah. was the one that I'm had doing, the I'm... crazy palace rally where uh, Murder eventually lost all of his attacks. Oh, and... was this the... Okay, yeah. That, that yeah, this had the, the really crazy palace game, and then everything else was really close, and then I got cityed. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, didn't, where, it wasn't in the middle, like you got in the middle uh, on that last round in the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had the the isolated spawn, and we just weren't quite able to fight out of it. It was really close, but yeah, yeah it was kind of the, the opposite. Difference. It's kind of the opposite of what of like it, it basically. It's one of the two things that happens in city: either the isolated spawn uh, will will kill you, or it just gives you so much advantage because everyone else like is in the pit, and you, it's like the exact opposite of what of what kind of happened in my match. Um, where you just kind of you you couldn't you couldn't rally with your teammate because you're on opposite sides of the map, and basically they split you in the middle, and they it was literally a divide and conquer thing uh, on that particular match if I remember it correct right on that particular map right. Uh, you mean for my mm-hmm. match the divide and conquer? Yeah, yeah, because uh, they were in the center uh, between you guys. You just kind of you could. One was up rally high. Either. One was up high, and then one had the spawn right next to me. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. But technically still between us-ish, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you were never able to actually get any... Like, that was was really back and forth as well, if I do recall. Was that 3-2 also? It was a 3-1, but it was a, a longer series. Still. Yeah, it was a long series. Yeah, because I... Okay, I, do, I think I do recall that one. Uh, I mean, I watched them all, but like I said, I'm, I'm kind of mixing up some matches because, you know, uh, it's been a little while since we did this. And, uh, but I believe that one was, um, was it, and every single game was semi close except for that last one. The this, last one was still really close. That's true. Yeah. It seems like, um, it was sort of back, a back and forth series, and you really couldn't tell who was going to win, and it could have, it could have easily swung the other way. What kind of broke it? Like, it was really back and forth there on City, and then basically what ended it is it, my partner had died outside of my spawn, and it's just so hard to get out of there. From that isolated spawn, when there's a two v one, it's so hard to escape it. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about because that actually happened on our, on our yeah. match, and I had the isolated spawn as well, and I had to go and and it was um, orange had the exact opposite spawn mm-hmm. on that on that game, and he he died, and I had to get over there from my side, and it was, I yeah, that's that is not easy to have to do, and it, it's it's never something you want to do in that map. I would say on you know, going back to that palace match, that was one of the funnest uh, rallies I've seen in a while. Um, that was very gritty, gritty match coming back because I thought you guys were done. I thought it was it was because they had you guys down after down after down, but um, Brigham made some really good pickups, and uh, it was that was a really really gutsy match right there, definitely. Yeah, that was a pretty intense rally. That was that was a really fun series to play in overall. Uh, I didn't feel bad going out after that one because it was just a really well played series by both teams. Anybody else have anything else they want to mention on that one? Um, I just want to chime in. Um, and just said I need to give you props on that match as well. You did. Your yeah, I, I just remember Palace being like a really really good game. Like I think you had a bad start during the beginning, but during like mid mid game, like defensively and everything else, movement wise, it was like really good. So yeah, they basically kicked Mario out of his base on his first spawn. Yeah, and he had no yeah, he was just good like for hiding and chilling in my in. base. And if I remember right, Murder was at twenty health for like half the match. It was an uphill battle to get in there. Oh yeah, I remember that. That was that was yeah. That one was actually like, like it was crazy. Like for almost the whole match, he was at he was at like above fifty. Like if he had been playing Blazing, he would have had Blazing like the whole game pretty much. I'm saying I know he wasn't, but I'm saying if he was, he would have had it. All right, let's move on for brevity's sake to the next one. Um, we had backpack number three, Brawly and Evo uh, versus Ebony and Shadow Shield. Uh, K 
came out in a 3-2 in favor of Evo and Brawley. Zanxis, you wanted to take this one. Okay, my bad. Um, yeah, this this one was a really good game. I remember um, specifically um, Palace, like the, um, I, I think it was a pop-out, right? I didn't believe Evo, Evo was popped out, if I'm not mistaken. On Palace? I, I don't recall yeah. myself. Or am I mixing up the matches? Um, I just remember on Palace Evo head. being like, kind of stubborn about digging up top yeah i felt like in the match i i, I believe pretty um, hard i think he got violent changed or something because i remember being a 1v1 situation against ebony if i'm not mistaken but we couldn't really see what was going on at the time so I, just, I just joined and i can affirm that i started with like two aura two heats and like uh a fortress and a vacuum wall and it took me a lightning sword, two blasters, and I think I want to say maybe an ice sword or something before I ever found an attack or aura. Sorry, before I could attack. So by then, it's against Ebony. You do not want to burn your skills. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to. But that, over but that was was that was that right? Did w, were you popped out? I literally just stepped into the, the yeah, I did get popped out. I just stepped into the podcast when I heard you say Evo. Got oh, out. okay, okay. So I All right, it. yeah, so I was right. So, yeah, so that part right there, just the uh, Ebony, Ebony's usually really good in those situations. Like, having someone popped out, like, that's generally, like, a guaranteed situation. Like, even if I was playing in, in this situation like that, like, it, it'd be extremely tough and, and like, last like a last minute hit i don't know what hit him or something if it was the blaster or something but that was an extremely no, close um, game broly uh ebony tried to sword fake broly and broly uh, he just kind of stood there and then counter punched him right in the face with i think either his own lightning sword or a flame sword but yeah if you're not running rian against ebony and, and you get aura screwed it, it's basically a wrap <laughs> okay who turned on their video no, but I thought I thought it was a good game. I honestly had it. I had it for for. I just didn't know how Broly played, so I honestly I play with Ebony all the time, and I know how he plays. He's probably one of the more tougher opponents that I play on a daily basis. Like a lot of my stuff doesn't work on him, so my Rian fake outs and stuff like that. He generally reads a lot of my stuff, so if I go to fake him out, he'll shoot something at me, knowing that I'm going to shoot at the ground. Um, and I'm not you yeah. really used to a lot of players actually knowing that like a lot of times i just get to shoot reans manually all the time and nobody shoots me um but emily one that usually thinks like tries to think like a step ahead um so it's usually really tough and he, he's one of the, the more tougher opponents that i have to deal with so of course i had to give it up to, to him i thought it was going to be um like uh like a 3-0 or maybe a 3-2 um which almost happened because I think they were they they brought it back. They 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 got two wins during the Absolutely. ending. Yeah, yeah, we yeah dude. And, and that at, once they got those two wins, I was like, ah, oh, you know, Ebony's got this. Like, you know, maybe it was just a a bad start or something. And then I don't we know, had, like they they fucking had, won. <laughs> we had City, I think. Um, but I think my color of my character uh, blended in with that particular part of the map too well. Um, Broly was obviously following my instructions of where I was, but I probably could have been a little more clear. I remember telling him I'm in your spawn, but I assumed when he walked up that ramp, he would spot me right away. Instead, he went straight the fuck to his spawn and then got by blazered out. So yeah, uh, not his fault by any means. I should have definitely been a bit more clear with my instructions. He also commenting at, I think he fucked, he, he, he fucked up or, or something. I think he used like a, or weirdly like a quantum decay or something and i think shadow shield was running like vibration or something so like that was bad timing as well like i don't i don't know if what 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 he was thinking at the at the moment so it's all good though uh it was a really great match it's actually one of my favorites um yeah that's and uh, actually much, if, Broly, if you're props, listening dude exactly. uh while i have the opportunity thank you man for teaming up with me i had a blast and love to do it again dude 
Yeah, that I think that game it's was tough. really, really good. I was I was not expecting Evo and Brawley to pull it out. I gotta be honest. I I wasn't. And I gotta give much props to Brawley and Evo for staying there, putting their heads in the game and staying in the game after going down those two games in a row and pulling out that final one. Um Dude, it's, Shadow it's Shield. It's literally all props to Broly, man. I got Aura screwed like three times that series. Yeah, it, but it, Shadow Shield Shadow Shield needs to uh pack just a couple more of those shields in his deck because he was getting destroyed. Um with just not drawing shields. I don't know how many he had in his decks, but it seemed like every match he was not he was not drawing any, which is tough. In a in a high level game like that, it's just tough. If you're not a cartwheeler. And he's not. All right, I think we need to move on to the next one. Um, this one is, since you were just talking, choice by math. Uh, we had Game God and Mirage versus Ska Boss and Snow Rise, which ended 3-1 for Team Ska. Yeah, this one was a, you know, I was interested to see um, how Mirage uh, evolved through the tournament because he, he hasn't been um, playing routinely like, you know, a lot of people have through this tournament. Um, I was hoping to see a little bit more out of him and uh, evolution of game gods placed out as well. But Skybos and Snow, um, you can just tell that they had more time, like just more time playing together. They had a good plan with the numbers game, with the KI uh, or uh, what's the plus one environmental? Why am I drawing a blank? Um, lunar force plus damage lunar force yeah the lunar force put down with lasers like snow and those lasers man that dude would will lull you to sleep with them and that's basically what had him scott scott did a good t- good job uh being a front man um you know assaulting with uh his um flame sword but i don't know uh game god makes some 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 decisions that I'm just like, man, eh? with sometimes in the game where he's like, he'll hold on to a skill too long. Like I believe it was on Panorama um, that he was holding on to um, a, an Enviral Eraser and he wasn't working through his deck quick enough to, to put out a little bit more uh, offensive. But it was a good game, but you could just tell exactly what team had the more time together. And Mirage relied heavily on that bundle blaster, man. <laughs> that is Mirage calling card on City. And he did a really good job with it, but they just couldn't pull out the win, unfortunately. Does anybody else want to chime in on that one? I got a comment on Ryan walking off the edge in Refinery. And, <laughs> like, Mir- not Mirage. When, when Ska was dead... And Ryan went to go pick him up. He walked off the edge. That's how he died. Nobody hit him. He just walked off the edge. Right. Oh, that was the match that that was. I remember that one. A refinery, right? Mm-hmm. I got a hit. Yep, we got to call out Snow Rice for every little thing he does. All right, next one. Uh, we've got. Algol Mantis and Snow Tide versus reigning king of Phantom Dust himself, the man at the top of our tables, the most valuable player by any metric, Affin Show, and uh, his backpack that round was Nathan O. This match also ended in a 3-1, and uh, Orange, you said you wanted to discuss this one. Yeah, I think this one actually ended in a 3-0. It wasn't a 3-1, it was a 3-0. I do not know. I am not sure. Watch the video. Because, you know, before Affin was the greatest fan of the best player ever, he was a part of the greatest tag team ever. But... (laughs) That is arguably true. (laughs) I don't know if I've ever seen a team that was just quite as much of a train wreck as Affin Show and Orange Baby. And it was glorious Um, to watch every moment of it. Things happen. (laughs) But um, rewatching this one, it was just um, early vibration pressure on each of the maps on Palace, City, and Binary. 
um, I want to say Afin actually took a page from my book and actually packed um, Chaos Blaster on City, which was fun to see whenever somebody used a central environment like Chaos. Um, but outside of central that, it was just, environment. Um, yeah, central <laughs> environment. I'm telling you. Um, outside of that, there was just um, nothing you know you could really do once you know the other team have the better you know startups. Um, that's all I got on that one. Um, a rough Rio win. Hey man, Athens coming for the crown. Just to let everybody know, he has no qualms about it. He's taking on all comers. Just put your name in a hat, and he'll pick it out and put you in that work. So, just throwing the that king out there of, for Athens. The king of Phantom Dust. <laughs> throwing that out there. All right. Anybody else want to comment on that one? Um, not much other than I remember that match being super fast. It was just bam, 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 and it, it was just felt like it. It felt like that match was just over before it started. It was there was they had so much pressure the entire game really. All I remember is it was like Affin uncovered a whole new leaf where he actually listened to the the advice I gave him where he gets a mid range attack, stands somewhere good, and just shoots it over and over. And he did that. And he won. It was great. That's how uh, I remember I actually, it. All I actually right. do get one thing to add. Is Evil gonna Evil gonna go over his matchups? Uh, yeah, we'll squeeze one of his in next, and then we'll squeeze we'll alternate a bit. What What did you say you wanted to add, Orange? Uh, I just wanted to add since you know it's Orange, maybe is that Affin? I'm coming to take that title from. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Challenge throwing oh. out officially oh. on here. Nice. Week five, you better show up with that real pairing so we can make it happen. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Let's do one of Evo's then. Uh, which was the one that we missed? Was that Orange Baby and Carbon versus no, Affin and a, Alice? Uh, so the Orange Baby and Carbon, didn't we do that in the last podcast, all those? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I see it in week two. Uh, yeah, we did. We two. actually did. I remember because the, cause that one, there, were, there was yeah. one or maybe two matches. Yeah, you're I right. I do remember yeah, that. It was played the day before the podcast. Yeah, we we, don't, we don't need to talk about it again. You don't need to talk about the embarrassment of losing to the King of Phantom Dust himself, Affin, no, the whole We don't need to talk show. about Orange screwing me over again. We can just move <laughs> on. In a 3 0 fashion, <laughs> after Orange just begged for oh, what is clearly a rematch where he's already lost <laughs> to the King of Phantom <laughs> so Dust himself, the whole effing mm-hmm. show. That was the, the other match that I had was with, uh, <laughs> the Gagnon and War Machine versus Math and Jester. Has that been covered already? No, we, we waited for you. We didn't wait for Jay right. because he sucks, but we did wait for you. So I really enjoyed this match. Um, I and I know I don't know if everyone's aware, but Gaiden had his profile deleted like a few days before, and uh, it wasn't actually a few I, days before. It was literally an hour before their match. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was literally well, as he was logging on to build to touch up the arsenals. Yeah. So that alone is uh, really shitty. Um, and they still managed to. You know, uh, take two games off of Math and uh, Jester. Um, Jester and Math came out with some real sneaky shit with that popping man, and I was really impressed by Gagnon's uh, ability to to counter pop and actually win it. Um, I think if Jester would have had a, had to hit that relearn early on, and that would have uh, changed the way it went. But you know, after that, Math and Jester they played a solid, uh, tight game. Um, it was. You know, had some brawling, had some popping. Um, it was probably my favorite of, of round three, actually. Uh, I really enjoyed the hell out of that one. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, our game plan, we had a really solid game plan. It was unfortunate that uh, Gagnon lost his profile, but we couldn't change the game plan that we had just because of that. So we wanted to come out the first match on Palace straight up, you know, normal. Hey brawl it out, who wins, whoever wins, wins, and then uh, throw them for a couple of loops later in the match. So first first match on Palace was super close. We were able to pull it out because um, Geigner had to make a long pickup, and me and Jester um, had that timing with the re-in photon burst real, real tight. So 
Uh, he had to make a couple long pickups and, you know, whittle him down. Um, the second match was on Refinery, and Geigman picked that match because he knows I hate Refinery. I hate that board. It's the worst. Um, but he did a – that was a smooth move by him by holding that uh, that recall at the end. And I kind of panicked a little bit, like, God dang it, and um, tried to rush him when I should have slowed down and just popped him out and we would have made the, you know, outlasted him because they had longer pickups. But that was a smooth move by him. He did a really, really good job. But that was a fun game. You know, uh, Pano, we, we brawled it out again. Jester had one D trick in his arsenal, and that came in super handy. Um, and we were able to to end that. But that was a fun match. Definitely a good time. Oh, I, and- I, I really that, specifically that refinery game that you're talking about. Like, it was the fact that he was able to pull that out, and basically a one v two was actually pretty, you know, pretty pretty awesome actually. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely a smooth move. And props to Jester. Jester, uh, he came out to play that game, man. If you guys watch his his point of view, man, he was, you know, taking on War Machine one on one, taking him out. A lot of frontal assault, dodging, especially on the lane match. He did a really good job. All right, let's hit the next one, and we'll. I don't remember which other one Evolution actually had selected then, so we'll go to Carbon's match that she'd picked here. Uh, she was going to stay on the topic of Orange Baby, but this time with Skimmy Style versus Alice and Blasian, and this time with a win in 3 2 1. Go ahead and take it okay. away, Carbon. So um, this one ended up a lot like um, Ian Schmidt's match, where there ended up being like with scheduling and getting people so they ended up replacing I think it was Nubis with Blasian and um, correct I think that that changed a lot of things I think that um, it made it to where Orange and Skimmy were able to put a lot of pressure on Blasian at the very beginning of a lot of the matches um, there were some interesting choices to say the least like um, at one point Orange threw up a Judge of Aries, and only skills Skimmy had were defenses. I don't really know what the play was with that. And then um, Bills had a Calamity that was able to stop a lot of 2v1s that were going on with Blasian. And um, I just think there were a lot of interesting things that went on. Um, Blasian played dead on sign, which I hadn't ever seen before. I'd heard Schmidt talk about it, but I'd never seen that happen before. So I think it was a very interesting match going on. Like, there were a lot of things I'd never seen happen before. Nice. Anybody else want to chime in on that one? It was a long, close series. Uh, actually, I, I wouldn't mind uh, chiming in on that particular one. Because um, that, one, that one was a really long, close match. I did Okay, the funny thing is, I didn't even realize Game 5, it, or, like, well, I guess it was technically Game 6, but it was, you know, it was the match point. For double match point, basically, I thought that it was three. Uh, it was two one in our favor. I didn't even realize it was two two uh, in that match, which is probably the reason why I was. I think we were actually able to pull it off uh, on that last game because I was playing a little bit more fast and loose than I probably would have. I probably would have played a little more reserved if I had thought we were. Uh, if I had realized it was at that point, I thought that if we lost, we we still have one more game. Didn't even realize that. Um, and also, like, we played, like, a lot of different, like, a few different environments, things that you don't usually see a lot. Um, and that was due to a lot of collaboration uh, between me and Orange. Like, we tried a whole bunch of different things. A lot of the earlier plans did not really work very well. And we both kind of gave in to each other's play styles to make something that, that seemed to actually work uh, work for both of us. I just kind of wanted to throw that out there, you know, say, you know, it was it was really cool, really great. Uh, and the fact that, like, I enjoyed trying new things and and just like, you know, playing with Orange in general. And it was, you know, it's great. Yeah, I'm just going to throw Orange some props here for, uh, 
yeah, getting together with Skimmy, building some arsenals on both their sides. And, uh, yeah, he did judge it very Skimmy, but I'm positive he didn't do it without Skimmy saying, yeah, go ahead and do it for some reason. So Orange has been stepping up his teamwork game for sure. Just going to give him some props on that. Yeah, if that was in, I think that was in Panorama, if, if I do recall, and I, I think I just told him just do it. What? Yeah. Or just then do something random? What the? What's the fun <laughs> in that? <laughs> uh, the, the evolution of orange. No, but um, yeah, you're right. The judge varies was actually talked about because I felt like we had the advantage on Panorama at that situation. So if we can break the defense, I would have a chance to get a Marimar simulated. So that's all that was about. All right, we'll move on to... We've got two more here, unless Evolution remembers which other one he had. Um, let's do Snowschmidt and Carbon versus Odin and Darcia, except for it wasn't Darcia. That was MX Bigfoot, who also replaced Darcia uh, for being non-communicative. Uh, actually, I, from what I understand, that's only going to be a temporary thing, right? Um, my understanding was that it was going to continue here forward. But oh, okay. uh, I am not the one who is making decisions, so I, I don't know if you should cite my. Okay, I'll I'll that. yeah let, I'll discuss it with him later. Sorry. Yep. Uh, so that ended in a three zero, uh, for Carbon and Snow Schmidt, and Zanxis had elected to take this one. Okay, the fruits of training. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we um, I remember actually um playing with them specifically kind of trying to imitate like Darcia um, as a jumper and everything. Um, so I've played with them a couple nights and stuff like that. And I was looking forward to them actually fighting Darcia. So How much did it hurt to it. not be able to use your shields? What was that? I said, how much did it hurt not being able to use your shields? What shields? <laughs> I was making a joke that Darcia doesn't use the shields. I gotcha. Sorry. I haven't seen Darcia play in a while, so. But either case, it um they put in MX Bigfoot. I I haven't seen him play in, in a very long time, so I, I was surprised to see that name out of everybody. So, um, but the matches went well. Um, they they paired up really well. Um, Carbon was always like close by or or available to do combos and stuff. Um. It was funny seeing the pursuit because I I made the arsenal specifically there, um, and I added the pursuit because I didn't have a backdraft at the time, and I never actually taught her how to use the move. Um, so it was actually just funny seeing it ha happen like real time during it. Um, but other than that, it was like it was a clean 3-0, like very fast aggression, no jank, just straight out brawl. So. Nice. Anybody else want to chime in on that matchup? Um, Congratulations to Carbon for her first win! Yay! Yeah, that that was actually a really really cool thing. And also, I I did like what you're mentioning about the pursuit because like you could hear their comms and you could hear her being like because I I watched it live and she was like she she was literally saying she's like it doesn't work the skill doesn't work and then like. <laughs> And then uh, Schmidt was was telling her how to use it, and then she's like, "I did it!" Was, oh, <laughs> that that moment of me being like, "Oh my god, I got it!" Like it's so like pure like excitement. Like I was just, and I went back and I listened to it, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I hate my voice at that moment," but it was just so much pure excitement. And I think Bregan, I think you and Skimmy commented on it after the first match. Like I like wanted to do well so bad because I felt like I got into tournaments and I just like fell apart from being like so nervous and everything and I wouldn't do things and um to that first match you won and you literally hear me say oh my god I can breathe and it's like <laughs> I couldn't believe I actually said that and Jacob was like oh my god that's awful like and you guys were like we hear you and I was like I wish you didn't <laughs> No, but I need to give you credit, though. Pursuit Epiphany was, like, the greatest moment of the match and the round for me. I, I had a good round. I think for me personally, it's always just fun to see new players come in and make 
visible improvements and show that they're able to compete with other players as well. So it's always a pleasure to see that happen in a tournament. So I, I enjoyed the match it for that reason. Yeah, I've Absolutely. also I want to agree with that. The visual improvements, like Carbon is de- like every single round, Carbon has played better. And maybe that it could be a combination of maybe just her skills no, getting I, better, but it might just be no. It's nervous. I can tell you, I can tell you the difference because I we played originally our first match where we got paired up um, when we originally started like te- like I, I started like trying to teach her a little bit about the game, um, and you can tell from there she like there was more nervousness in that game and everything, um, but like as we were like playing games against other people and like really high skilled people, we would get, we would lose in everything. And I remember telling her like, you know, you're, you're going to lose games against everybody that you're going to fight. But I'm like, the more you play them. And then when you go to play someone else that you've fought previously, like you're going to tell the difference. Um, and, and, it, and it really showed like in this map, like um, I could see like the confidence level after like, like after palace, um, once she took like that breather, um, it just seemed like she was playing a lot better. Like even the revive that she made on Refinery, um, like was went went smoothly. Like she yeah, just went up clear. there, got the guard of water, and then immediately got the revive and and left. So that was like the clutch moment there because I I, I would have figured at that point it would have been over. But I saw the two defenses, and I was just hoping to myself that one of them was the guard of water that I put in there. <laughs> so it worked. It was good. I oh, know. I was terrified. <laughs> All right, we got one last one. Let's try and get this one going. Uh, we had Jay and some last choices versus Triple and Killer Mark. Math, you wanted to do this one. Yeah, I was actually looking forward to this one, um, this match a lot because um, I'm actually a pretty big fan of Triple. I think he's a very good um, up and coming player, and of course Jay my guy and uh poor choices is coming back in and killer mark has made some strides um because i don't know man killer mark before used to frustrate me but he's made some good improvements so i thought this game was going to be a little bit closer um but jay really took the uh the leadership role between him and poor choices you can just hear him barking out barking out orders to uh, uh poor choices on on plays on the map and it, they did a real good job. They almost had the three O, but um poor lagged out on refinery and a triple and mark brought it back and, and won that refinery match and then they took it to the uh to the last game where Tro- uh Jay closed it out. But I believe uh Mark and Triple could have pulled it out on panel, but Mark was not using his Rico J laser. And I was so frustrated watching that match. Mark, if you're listening to this, if we play together and you don't use the laser, I'm gonna kill you myself. I'm just gonna <laughs> flame sword you. But that was a very close game and um I thought they could've it could have been easily three two. Um but Jay did a good job, and um, Poor did a good job of closing out. It was a good game, though. Good series. All right. Anybody else want to chime in on that one? Yeah, I need to echo uh, what Matt said on that one, because if I remember right, I want to say um, Mark had that ricochet laser in his hand for about, like, five or six minutes, and I think I only seen it used three or four times that whole match. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, whoever was commentating on the match, I recall, was, like, driving them crazy. They're like, why isn't he using the ricochet lasers? That was me. It still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to have to call my therapist after this. Thanks, Skimmy. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm still trying to beat you down right now before we have our epic match that we... uh. We 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 announced on the first on the first podcast that never happened yet. Wait, we have a match? No, you you challenged me uh, after I can't remember. I made a comment in, in the the previous podcast. Man, you're gonna have to have your team put you in a pairing where I can actually play you. Then <laughs> I'm not opposed to that. Bring it on. All right, we'll go ahead and leave that. Then we're gonna hit round four for predictions. 
Um, I'm actually going to throw a short topic here in the middle. Uh, how does everybody feel about the projection right now? Like the, it kind of started out really strong for Team Ska, and then Murder's team has been slowly catching up. Uh, they didn't actually gain no, no, no. points in Week 2. They, they actually got a little bit further behind in Week 2, but they've been gaining more points and had a, a, a positive point differential in Week 3. Now, what I want to know is that, do you think that continual slide is going to keep going? Do we think it's going to even out? Do you think it's going to pendulum swing back the other way? What, what are people projecting right now between the two teams overall? Um, I actually have a, a thought on this. Um, I actually think that there's a good chance it's actually going to, the slide's going to continue, and not specifically because of just, like, what's been going on, but it's just because um, in this, like, the, this last round, those two players being replaced um, in like in the tournament, uh, I think like from what I could tell, uh, like I know Bigfoot, I've heard it hasn't been around for a while, and uh, so that's I feel like that was probably a maybe a lower tier player, and basically it just it kind of decreased the the whole median of of Scott's team in general, and I I, I don't think that necessarily they you know got you know, a raw deal or anything. I feel like the teams are a lot more balanced now because, uh, as you mentioned, before, as had been mentioned before, that um, it seemed like Murder had a lot more of... He had, like, a huge, like, difference between the bottom-tier players and the top-tier players. And Ska had, like... Uh, he had, he had like, a lot... His, his, his bottom and mid-tiers were basically equal skill level. And now I feel like that differential is, like, changing. Um, and I feel like the slide can continue uh, unless, uh, you know, those people can pick it up, you know, somewhere in the middle. Uh, I think it'll slide. It, it, and it's only a couple weeks left, so, like, it, it's hard to say, but I would say it looks like there's a good chance of that slide continuing. Who else? I think uh, uh, it, it's been – I think it's going to even out eventually. Um, I feel like uh, Murder's um, entry-level players have definitely been uh, – growing rapidly um this replacement on uh, sky bosses um entry level players is gonna it hampered the growth because those players have to get up to speed with you know the uh level of the tournament but i think it even out uh, hopefully this round hopefully. um but definitely team murder has uh, pulled it up and and definitely put up a fight, man, because those it wasn't looking too good for them at first, but now it's it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think uh, like you said, a lot of the people we had who were just who just getting back into the game, or you know maybe just only played every now and then. Uh, you see, a lot of them more. I'm pretty sure your team's doing the same. You're seeing them on online more often, and they're getting better. Uh, so that's helping. Plus, uh, round one, I take responsibility yeah. for how that went. I uh, chose some bad team-ups, but now as I'm watching more people play and figuring out what works and what doesn't work, um, it's turning out a little better. So I think I don't think we're going to be able to like speed ahead, but I think it's going to get a lot closer. Yeah, that was kind of what I was going to put my little take on, since both captains are able to see playing styles for all their team members now. I felt like with Murder, he actually picked a couple players who haven't really been active for a while or just some people he just did that even know. And um, he's actually able to see how they play and actually figure out the game. So I actually Yeah, that's 100% true. Is actually going to keep the trend going forward. Yeah, I'm not going to say anyone, but there's a lot of people who like I picked based on stuff I've seen in the past, but then I forgot they haven't played in like a year. <laughs> so I was pairing them as if from the same I saw a year ago, not thinking about, yeah, this guy hasn't played in a year. Mm. So like I said, that's uh, it's my fault. Throwing them to the wolves, as they say, my fault. I am the wolves. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. We're getting all weaving here. All right. Anybody else want to chime in on that topic, or are we ready for round four? All right. Let's hit round four then. Uh, all right. We're, we're going to move through it pretty quick um, since we have so many people. Goodness, should we have everybody just chime in 
and maybe have one person defend why and then get like the overall we could, we could do like uh if anyone wants to chime in if they have something different to say then everyone else say something keep it short and simple and then everyone give a prediction a real quick prediction like yeah, I think yeah. I'll, I'll think I'll let everybody take like a, a description on each match on who they think will take it and why because we have roughly eight people uh, and eight matchups, so we'll do that. I'll just go down the list. Um, is there anybody who's also at the computer? Well, I guess I'm the one that's hosting the stream anyway. So uh, what I'll try and do is kind of keep a tally uh, for. Uh, I mean, I can I can keep a tally. For well, that, that way it'll be visible on the stream as well. I'm going to try and keep a tally on okay. who voted for what. But uh, let's start at the top of the table matchup, and we'll have the first person in the chat. Uh, tell me who wins this matchup, Brawly and Jay versus Kamikaze Mario and Jester. I want you to tell me who wins and why, Zanxus. Um, I have to go with Jay and Brawly winning it. Um, just from personal experience, from just playing, um, I play with Jay every so often and every time we play like where we're, we always win we, we, we generally win most of the time we uh, pair up our attacks very well he seems to fit well with any person that you put him with um from what i've seen in every single tournament um so and you, you could see from his gameplay from just the previous games like how much he's gotten better and stuff like that so i had to give it to jay on this one um i'm gonna say on this one, it's going to be maybe a, a 3-1, I would say. All right. Everybody else, I just want who wins. Who wins, Orange? Okay. Um, I'm going with Jay Broly. Evolution? Uh, Jay Broly. Carbon? Jay Broly. Murder? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say Jay Broly with the 3-1. Uh, I mean, there's definitely no team murder bias in this list. Math? Math? See, he doesn't even want to say anything because he knows what he wants to say. <laughs> <laughs> Are you muted, Math? He might be. Nah, he's not muted. His, uh... It's just conflicted emotions. Yeah. Type it in the chat if you have to, Math. You can't spit it out because you can't be a big boy. You just type it in your safe space. <laughs> All right, Jay is voting. For yeah. Himself. Well, he doesn't get to vote for himself. <laughs> First, he tries yes, he to does. select his own match Did to talk about. Jay then he votes for himself, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Math, type it in the chat then. Oh, Math died. Skimmy, who wins? I mean, have have you ever seen Dragon Ball? Have you ever seen Broly's big bulbous muscles? I'm sorry, that backpack. He can carry a hundred backpacks. He's gonna he's gonna keep on going. I think you have the wrong read on how much of a weeb I am. I ain't seen that. Sh <laughs> All right, next one. We got PDDCM and Guinan versus Bragan and Shadow Shield. Uh, Orange baby, tell me who wins this series and why. All right, um, not gonna be biased at all. But I think um, P D and Snow got it. Um, probably in about a three one. I know you and P D Bregan have a little bit of history. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And um dying outside of um you know, losing all his arsenals, I think he probably would have pulled out a win last week as well. And I Honestly, I haven't really played the Shadow Shield too much. I don't really know too much about it. But for the three players, I actually see uh, two murder one in this one. Or two. All right, everybody else, just who wins? Sanxis? Um, PD oh. and what's his name now? Snow Geisman now? Yeah. Snow Geisman, yes, that. Snow yeah. Geisman with a Z. Guy. Oh, Geisman? With a Z. He should that's what Zanks has said, so that's what we're changing it to. I don't okay. know what the name is. <laughs> Evolution? You're muted. Uh, Jay, type it in the chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm muted. Um, uh, based on Shadow's track record right now i'm, I'm gonna have to go 
with Team Mastodon for this one. Write it in the chat, Jay. Who wins, Carbon? He he said I'm guys. Gonna, I'm sticking <laughs> with Ian and them. Math, are you here now? Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Who wins this one? Man. Just say it and get it over with. I'm going with I'm going with uh PD and and, and Gagne. All right. Do you want to vote on the last one too? What was that? Um, Brawley and Jay, Jay versus and... Mario and Jester. Oh, I'm going with Jay and Brawley. On a rough one, I really think Sardonic and uh, Mario is going to do a good job. Close three two. Skimmy. Uh, I am actually with with everyone else on the uh, the PD and Snow. Um, I did want to note something real quick. If you're using the I think the list I, the order the list I think you are. Um, if you keep going, I'm the last on this list of players and. I'm the, last, I'm the last game, so if you don't want me to be that one, then you might want to swap it up a little bit. All right, well, then you got this one. one. Hold on, hold on. Bregan. What? How much, how, how ready are you to pick up Shadow Shield a bunch? Because that's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be the, uh, what changes my answer here. Uh, I have all the shields. <laughs> Do you have enough for him? Do you have, like, annoying gift shields? Because that may, that may be the arsenal to use. You know, we haven't had, like, any practice, but maybe that's the arsenal I'll build for this. And, only <laughs> shields. and I, I'm just giving you shit, Shadow Shield, for uh, how unlucky you got in your last match with the Drawing Shields. He's just giving you shit, and I'm just giving you shields, because you can't use them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next game. Take it away, Skimmy Style. Who wins Murder Mastodon and Choices versus Math and Ebony? Oh, this is actually, like, a, a pretty difficult one to call. Um... I, I feel like Ebony and Math will probably edge them out a little bit, but I would say it's probably going to be a three-two, and it's it's going to be a really really close one. But I think uh, I think that um, that Ebony like right now with how he's been playing edges out Murder a little bit, and I think I think Math um, you know edges out poor choices just a tiny bit as well. So I feel like it's going to be a really close one, but not not so far away that it's like unheard of that. Our, you know, our side could win because it it really seems like it could go either way. But I think Ebony and uh, and Math have that one. Uh, I think they're just by a little bit. All right, just who wins now, Sanxus? <laughs> we'll come back to him. Who wins this orange baby? Ebony and Math. Evolution. You're muted again. Alright. Ebony and Mass. I keep forgetting I mute it. I'm sorry, I'll leave it unmuted. Jay, write yeah. it in the chat. Carbon. Ebony and I'm back at I'm back as well, also. But um which one's who well, which one am I voting on? Ebony, Ebony and Math who? versus Choices and Murder. Um Ebony and Math. Alright. <coughs> Murder I'm doesn't get to vote, and math doesn't get to vote. I guess I'll vote. No, I'm going to punch um, murder in his face. That's what I'm going to do. I think Choice has already got his only win of the tournament he's getting, so suck Holy it. Cow. O's across the board. Yeah. Who's in charge of your guys' pairings over there? Because <laughs> <laughs> this seems <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> what, you think we're just giving Choices bad matchups? <laughs> I think you guys just hate me and Choices. <laughs> Well, says, says the people that last round I was, like, partnered with Mario, which is, like, a decent partnership, and then you guys just throw literally your best possible partnership with you and PDDCM uh, against me. What are you talking about? You, like, threw the whole freaking checkbook at me. Get out of here. This is revenge. Stop is talking. That what this You're is? done. This is revenge. You're <laughs> done. Get out. You're going to see it. All right. <laughs> Next matchup, we got Evo and Carbon taking on Nathan and Blasian. Uh, let's see who hasn't gone. Evolution can't do it. Jay can't do it because he sucks. Carbon can't do it. Uh, murder, you gotta do it. Wait, you talked really fast. Hold on. Evo and Carbon versus Nathan and Blasian. Keep up. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. So uh, 
Who wins the what? Nathan had a good last round, but Blazion did not have... Hey, Desmond. Okay. He didn't have that strong of a show. And uh, Carbon and Evo both had strong showings last round. And Evo and Carbon play yeah. together uh, a I'm little more often twice. than some other people do. So I think... I'm going to um, win twice. Okay, Desmond. It's very cute. Yeah, I'm doing okay. well. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think Evo and Carbon are going to pull some stuff together, make some arsenals, come up with some strategies, and are going to take the win. Right. Despite what uh, Nathan thinks. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Um, I'm going with, uh, You're going to have to mute Evo and Carbon. Uh, I'm going with Evo and Carbon just because um, Blazing yeah. is a newer player and Carbon has been coming okay. up. Um, she's been doing a great job of growing with the uh, the scene. Um, so I think she'll edge him out. And then um, Evo and Nathan will be a, a solid matchup. But I, I just think uh, they'll edge him out total. All right, Skimmy. Uh, I, I'm also in agreement. I, I do believe uh, Evo and, and Carbon as well for that one. Okay. Math, did you vote Evo and Carbon, or did you vote... Evo Nathan? and Carbon. Okay, I messed up on that. But no, hey, hold on now. I thought I was an easy 3-0, and now all these people are voting Evo and Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> I vote again. Oh. Zanxus. <laughs> You're the last to vote. I th- or no, Orange Baby also no, gets to vote. Evo, Evo and Carbon for mine. Orange? Oh, Evo and Carbon on this one as well. Man, we aren't getting any dissent in this at all. Every single one of them has been either one matchup or the other. Everybody's voted the same. I need some con- some, some conflict here, guys. There's no spice. We'll get a little We're just bit eating soon. porridge. I I don't see any votes. <laughs> All right. We're on the next one. Uh, Snow Schmidt and Snow Tide versus Snow Rise and Affin Show. Uh, the Snow Apocalypse plus the King of Phantom Dust himself. The Undefeated King. The Returning Emperor. Who wins this matchup and why, Evolution? Hmm. Uh. I think that this is going to be Athens L. Um, I think he's getting a little too cocky. And uh, I think... Um, uh, I think... Uh, sorry. Uh, Tide and Schmidt um, have more synergy than Rise and Affen. And... Um, I'm counting on uh, that synergy to really show. Um, Schmidt has really performed this uh, tournament. And uh, Affen has too, but Schmidt has played uh, some solid opponents. So is Rise. Um, Rise has mm-hmm. played solid yeah. opponents. He's also 3 0. They're Rise both out. undefeated I'm right now. I'm not counting Rise out. I, I, uh, I, would, I would not be upset either way if Rise won or lost, but I'm going to fucking punch Affin in his wrestling loving little pecker if he fucking wins again because <laughs> getting tired of that mouth um, no I I, uh, I think though that Tide and Schmidt are going to take this one um, for no other reason other than the synergy that they already have established alright for everybody else just who wins uh, Skimmy um, yeah, I'm also in agreement. It's like I feel like there's so much synergy between those two. They they, they got to win this one probably. Math. I know. I'm going with the King of Phantom Dust, Affin and Snow. Winter is coming. Boo. Murder. Uh, I think it's gonna be a 3-0 for Snow Tide and Snow Schmidt. Carbon. Gotta pick my man's. <laughs> That's so Rise, I right? That means, I think that means Schmidt. I'm not sure. It means Affin, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got it. <laughs> All right, Orange Baby. I need to go with my former two partners, Affin and Snowrise. Hey. Wait, did you team with Snowrise? Yeah, oh. uh, both of them was free agent partners. Oh. And Snowrise yeah. is still trying to forget. Zanxus? <laughs> I gotta go with the snows. With the, which snows? 
the two stuff. that are on the same team together. The two that are on the same team together. The two that are on the same team together. Traders. Jesus. Yeah. The two that are on the same team together. All right. All right. We're on to the next one. Algol Mantis and SC War Machine versus Odin and Triple L. Let's see. Who's next that hasn't gone? I think it's Carbon. Who wins this matchup and why? I think. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. Um. I gotta, I gotta shoot for the little guy. I think Odin and Triple could do okay. Like, could I do think, okay. <laughs> okay, like okay. Like, I, <laughs> I haven't played with S. I haven't played with War Machine. Like I don't think at all. But I've definitely played with Triple L, and I've definitely played with Odin. And I was paired with Algo in the beginning. So I. Think He's like, I ain't got like, any faith in that guy. <laughs> He didn't carry me no. in round one. He ain't carrying no, round four on. either. <laughs> I, I don't think he's won a match what yet either. I think Al Gol's 0-3. The but numbers I don't think, lie. I think that Triple L and I think Odin could do well together. Like, I think Odin does a little bit of... I don't know if I want to call it jank because there's it's, it's problems jank. with that. A little orangery? But, um, yeah. But yeah. I think, like, Triple L, like, he's... He's really good at being able to play with a lot of different people and I think that like they could make good choices together and that um they're just I feel like they're on maybe same level more than Algal and War. I'm not trying to say that to be mean. I don't know. I'm the bottom of the barrel, so I feel like I can say that. But that's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> Jesus. That so man won after all that? You I'll talk so it. fast. <laughs> I'm I don't sorry. Even know <laughs> so who was it that you're Odin and Triple. All right. Don't be sorry. You're speaking sure. truth to power. That's who I think. All right. Uh, everybody else, just who wins? Uh, Skimmy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say uh, Al Gold's gonna be getting his first uh, his first win this this tournament. I think. All right. I see somebody didn't pass high school math. <laughs> math, come on. Teach him. Uh, I'm going triple and Odin. That's right. I think uh, tri- triple. Yeah. You, you, you guys know Odin doesn't play with literally any sound. Did you guys know that? <laughs> with skills or anything? No, he like yeah, he plays with no game sound at all. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. Hey, it's less distraction. The legend, man. The legend. Yeah. I didn't know he played with no game audio. Wow. Yeah, no game audio, no voice audio, nothing. Everybody <laughs> in here trying to break dad bot. What is wrong with you people? Stop abusing the bot. Nathan. Murder, him. murder. who? Did you already give it? Uh, Mantis War Machine by a landslide victory. Okay. Uh, Jay, type it in the chat. And then Evo. Mm-hmm. Who wins and why? Evo. Or just the score? Sorry. Uh, on Mirage, Skimmy, Bigfoot, Ska? No, we're, uh, we're still on Mantis, War Machine, Odin, and Triple. Oh, shit. Uh, Drunk uh, right now? No. <laughs> I mean, we've I just been talking about this for a while. Triple and War Machine, so um, I'm going to be biased here and go War Machine. Yeah. All right. That's not my. That's just the truth. <laughs> All right. Jay voted for Odin and Triple. He actually broke ranks for once. Uh, Orange baby, what's your uh, vote? I'm gonna get my um, Stone Mastodon card back and actually go with Mathis and Orange. I always knew you were a fake friend. Zanxis? I'm gonna go with uh, Odin and Triple. All right, we're finally getting a mixed one here. I think that's going to be our highlight match for the week then. Finally getting some mixed results. All right, uh, we are. That, uh, Snow Tide Snow Schmidt match is probably going to be the highlight just of how much trash talk is involved. If You should join the their team chat or the uh, match chat. It's fun. Just them talking shit for <sighs> three days. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it's been. <laughs> All right, Game God and Orange Baby versus Alice and Killamark. Let's see, that would be then you murder. Who wins and why? Mm. Wait, I don't want to do this one. 
Because it's going to be, it's really going to depend if Game God puts in the time to coordinate some stuff with Orange. Because if they do, I'm going to give it to Orange and Game God. If they don't, I'm going to give it to Killer Mark and Ale. So, uh, right now, I'm going to have to say Killer Mark and Ale's probably, unfortunately. But it's not going to be like a landslide. It's going to be very close, but Orange and Game God need to put in the times, and Orange has been. Hint, hint. So you lost me, but there is that a vote for Orange and Game God, or is it a vote for no? Killer it's Mark? for Ales, Ales and Killer Mark. That that kind of matches up for me. I I don't think you you have any right putting faith in Game God. I'd never, ever, ever vote for that. <laughs> All right, just scores out of everybody else. Math. Um, I am going with. Uh, Alice and Killer Mark. Alice has a secret weapon. Skimmy? Uh, I'm going for my both of my former partners, uh, Game God and Orange. I've played against both the other two, and I've had both the other two on my team, and I I feel like that team is, is a better team, to be straight up honest. Okay. Sanxis? Sorry, I'm stuck on that face. Um... <laughs> I'm going to say it's going to be Killer Mark's team. He's actually been playing really well. So, Orange Baby doesn't get a vote. Evolution? Uh, I'm going to have to go with Orange and Game God on this. Solely due to Orange Baby's late coordination. Jay, game. throw it up in the chat. GG Orange if G oh he did put GG Orange if GG preps before and if not Killer and Alistair you still have to vote Jay you don't get to just hedge your bets uh, Carvin <laughs> Alice and Killer all right we are on to the last one now we got Mirage and Skimmy Style who doesn't get to participate and MX Bigfoot versus the big boss himself the first ska boss in fact. Uh, math. Who wins this matchup and why? Um, this is going to be a tough one for me. Um, Bigfoot is just coming back. Um, he's got to put in the time with Skyboss. I think Skyboss is probably the uh, the better player overall in the in the match. Um, so it's kind. Of, I'm kind of leaning their way, but Mirage. If Mirage can get on. Play a couple of games with Skimmy. Um, they could easily win, but I think I'm going to edge. I'm going to edge it with Skimmy and Mirage just because I don't know what I'm getting out of Bigfoot yet. All right. Murder. Yeah, I'm going to just 100% agree with Math here. Carbon? Say Skimmy and Mirage take it. Carbon? I'm going with Scott and Bigfoot. Just to be different. All right. Just because Scott is a freaking boss, he can carry. <laughs> Jay showing that uh, he has no personality of his own says, same as what Math said. <laughs> <laughs> I can already see the dots popping up as I insult him <laughs> where he starts typing. <laughs> All right. Uh, evolution. I'm sorry. Can you say that again? It, the last matchup, Mirage and Skimmy versus Bigfoot and Ska. Uh, Just who do you think is going to win? Boss. All right, betting on the boss himself. Orange Baby? He's, he's showing up, man. Uh, um, Bigfoot, I'm not too familiar with him. I think I might have seen him in a couple of battle royales before back in the day, but I played with Skimmy last round. He could play and actually mimic almost any style, so I'm going to Skimmy in the round. Zanxus? I'm going to give it to the Ska Boss. All right. At least we finally got a little bit of conflict here towards the end. Uh, I think that, that was about 50, wasn't it? Yeah. Was, just yeah. about. I think it's three to four on that vote. So that, that ends our round four predictions. Um, if people need to start going, feel free. Uh, I was going to introduce one last topic, I think, here at the end. 
if you don't have anybody in mind, that's okay. We can move on. Uh, I want everybody to tell me who your current most valuable player is as mm-hmm. of week three's results. Who is your most valuable player? Uh, we can start with whoever is ready first, and then we'll just go down the I, list from there. I'm ready. I can do it. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to say Schmidt. Uh, right now, Schmidt, he's been, he's been on fire. Um, he, he seems to be able to match up with basically anybody. Um, and he, he, it really feels like, for the most part, he doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses. Um, like, I mean, maybe some arsenals he plays might be weaknesses, but like any, like his actual skill wise, he f- seems really solid. He's really good at call outs that I played with him in the first round. Um, like, he just seems a really solid, just an overall, just total package. And he seems like, you know, hasn't lost the round yet. I just, I, I'm definitely going to go with Schmidt. Yeah, it's tough because you know, Schmidt has one of the most points, but uh, Brawley is probably, it's hard to argue because he's, Schmidt has won every game. Uh, I'm not taking anything from him, but Brawley has had way tougher opponents. Yeah, high level. Um, he's, you know, part of, the, part of the thing with strategizing, as you guys have, is picking who's going to have to take on the bigger dogs. And uh, Brawley has been able to do that um, round after round. I am going to painfully agree that Brawley is the most valuable player so far, but for a very different reason. Because you were able to pick that dude up, like, what, seventh round? Yeah, I, Nobody think else. Actually, I think it was my fifth pick. I, I mean, either way, like, he was a late pick or later pick that yeah. – n- our team had no read on, so it wasn't contested whatsoever. So you were able to take him basically whenever, and he has shown that he's able to at least hang out with the heavyweights and come out on top. Yeah, I played him like a week or two before the draft, before he even entered. Uh, we played, um, and he was with his t- partner at the time. So I held on to that one. Insider trading. You heard it here yeah, first. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna go. Uh, Affin, man. Hey, the king of phantom dust. Say? Hey, oh my god. He's put it in front of. He knocks him down. I am going you to stop Affin Dick next round. I swear to God. <laughs> you put him up. You put him up. He knocks him down. Hey, you got a better fit Affin with someone good. <laughs> you know, next round. Is this um gonna be a snow and snow here again? The King of Animals? No. Sorry. <laughs> no, but I'm actually going to give it to Affin just because I want to, you know. Get Whoa, do not, this. do not balloon this. Do not balloon this man to eat it, though. Come Ooh, on. Dude, 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 if, if, if beating. He cannot leave his house right now. All right, this is. Beating this me is... makes you the king, then everyone here is the King of Phantom Dust. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I am going to again. I'm. I. This is the first time you're ever going to see it, and probably the last time as well. But I'm going to come to Athens' defense here, uh, for similar reasons as to Brawley. I would argue he is a great MVP candidate in that he was drafted super low. Nobody had a read to draft him early, and the guy has been on an upward trend. He beat. Invoker in a 1v1, he had a solid showing throughout the rest of that tournament. He's shown up in this tournament 3-0. He's finally standing where he's supposed to, shooting you know regular mid-range attacks and dealing lots of damage. So for similar reason for Brawley, he has shown that even despite being low down on the pick list, he has really been able to put up points on the board. Mm-hmm. So I will, I will, that is the last time you hear me say anything positive about Athen. All right, he smells bad. All right, so got to bring it back. <laughs> All right, Carbon, who is your MVP? Mm, don't. Mm. Is it Schmidt? Um, Hold on, let me guess. No, <laughs> no, Jacob, piece of trash. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna snow say... trash. Oh yeah, I said I couldn't be a snow, so snow trash. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say. Broly, but it's a very like because at the end of the day, okay, yeah, Broly is a beast and he can go in there and be aggressive and fight two v ones by himself without even being terrified at all. But I think when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, like him not having a mic does make a difference. I think it really Agreed. does, especially like when he's going to pick people up and stuff. 
like yeah you can communicate with him but then like Evo was saying, if you tell him and he doesn't know exactly where you are, you don't know that because he can't ask you more about it. Yeah, that's so, wonderful. Yeah. I think, I mean, I think Broly is very valuable and I think he makes a difference and everything. And I think at the end of the day, he is doing very well, but I think that could change very fast if you was put with somebody MVP, that doesn't necessarily communicate very well. Who is your MVP then? Not, I'm not trying to be a suck up, but I would say I would say murder is doing oh. best. Oh. Wow. I'm you not trying to be a suck up. I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm not. Captain, to be a give me up. better. <laughs> Captain, give me better matchups. <laughs> Throw that out. <laughs> so it's just it's like at the end of the day, like oh, in Palace and everything else, like murder was able to go up against like going against the odds even though he didn't have an attack and everything he kept on going and i think it's just like he can make it in this situation all right jay also said brawly um evolution who's your mvp uh, i think brawly is definitely my mvp is that, that your person anything <laughs> else to add on to it or more or less has that been covered in depth I mean, he ain't got a mic, and he took on Ebony one on one, and came out on top. So I'm definitely going with Brawley. I think that's enough right there. The number one draft pick got beat by the guy with no mic. What about yeah, I agree. Like that, the fact that he was he was stopped I'm there. I'm gonna stand up crazy. for Ebony a little bit here, because he had to do like ten pickups on Shadow Shield, like per game. Yeah, like I'm gonna give Ebony some credit here. I, I think if Ebony and Shadow Shield is obviously a good player, he's killed Gigan in a one v one before. But I think that was a very bad team pick on Team Skaboss's short side. Like Ebony and Shadow Shield are two people who should just not be on a team, in my opinion. Well, I mean, to be fair. I disagree because Ebony is the number one pickup artist on this game. So they did pick the right one to make a lot of pickups. <laughs> the, the fourth round pick, oh, that's the Bragan. <laughs> Bragan is going to be so tilted after <laughs> after Palace that I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll, I'll count it as a victory if I make more pickups than Ebony did. Okay. Hey, is that is that just how it counts now? If Brigan loses uh, Palace, he just becomes Ultra Tilt Master? No, it has nothing to do with him losing Palace. It's about how many times he's going to have to go for a pickup instead of digging for the missing attack that he hasn't had in his hand for the last five counts. I, I gotta say, I be, I felt like both of them felt a little off in that series. So I'm gonna say, I, 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 I'm not. I think people are are just kind of memeing at this point, but like, I, I felt like both those players looked a little off from their usual level of play. I'm gonna yeah, say it one more time, just so Shadow Shield doesn't think I'm like. It's just they were they had a game plan. Evo and Brawley had a game plan of let's get Shadow Shield. Like you can tell, like that was their game plan, and it worked. So you know, in a two v one situation, that's there's not much you can do. But knowing that Ebony typically plays slower, and Brawley and Evo are very aggressive, it, it seemed like a really bad team to put together. That so yeah, I'm just getting. Because Ebony's my boy. I'm going to give him some credit there. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I do want to um, may clarify. I, w I was only kidding. I really like Ebony, so I don't want him thinking I was shit-talking him. I didn't. That wasn't no, my intention. I don't think he took it that way. It just it was no, a good match. It's 3-2 still. I'm just hoping we can surprise Had you my heart this round. We're going we're gonna to have a Shadow Shield it. renaissance in round four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow Shield's coming. All right, Orange Baby, you got, a, got anything different for us? Who's your MVP? Um, I'm actually going to stick with Avin, seriously. Um, uh, I'm yeah. booting you for the team chat right now. <laughs> Hold on. What, 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 what? I got reasons. I got nope, reasons. nope, too late. It's happening. <laughs> C he group talking, members. He was he was talking trash. We get drinks, right? right? As uh, Orange's replacement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, he was talking trash for the most of the tournament. He was living up to the trash talk 
can't really discredit him from that. A lot of people was giving him a lot of pushback, but he was living up to it so far. Best player in the tournament. Team. Oh my God, Snow Tide, Snow Schmidt. If you guys don't win against Affin, voting you off the island. <laughs> it's already written in the stars that they lose. So it's already happening. Zanxus. <laughs> Who's your MVP, Zanxus? Zanxus muted. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Are you still eating, Zanxus? Or did you die this time? <laughs> Ouch. He's dead. He's gone. No, he can't die. We need him to replace Orange since he since Orange just got kicked. You know what else uh. is dead? The dream is dead. You're stuck with Orange. Aw. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's typing in chat. I was asking who your MVP is, Zanxus. He's typing. Got the little dots wiggling there. He stopped typing. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he just typed in Affin. There's an A? Oh my god. Well, I'm just going to have to assume that he meant me then, and we're just going to have hey, to move he's typing. on. Bregan is the what? MVP of the tournament. Uh, he's also the MVP of the podcast. Uh, so we're just going to have to call that and move on. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your vote for MVP, Zanxis. Real brother out there. All right, he said Broly. No, he didn't. He said Bregan. It was a typo. <laughs> All right. Does anybody else have anything else they want to add to this, or are we going to wrap it? Uh, can I can I throw a question to the to the the audience here? or not the audience, but to the uh, the cast here? Yeah, you mean our audience of one? What do you got? Oh, uh, I actually do have a like. What what is there any players like we we're talking about the MVPs, right? But like, is there any player that that surprised that surprised you in general, and you? They're playing a lot better than you expected, or like, or anything like that. Like they're improving really rapidly. Like, is there any players like that for you guys? I thought Game God would have lost all of his series even harder. I think he's playing great. <laughs> uh, I gotta look at my uh, list. I don't have it memorized. I'm just, think, I'm just uh, kidding on that. I one. think Snow Rise has uh, taken a, a good jump, and I think he's been doing a really good job. I agree and with that so one. I. I was even surprised as his partner. Yeah. Snow Rise. And Triple. Triple also. Triple has surprised me. And oh, Spike. yeah. From, from, from your guys' team, yeah, I agree with those two, definitely. And then from my team, uh, Snow Schmidt and uh, Skimmy. And, yeah. Sounds like a list. <laughs> So, no shit. Think, can you guys hear me? Yeah. No. You got something? Yeah, I think. Um, let me look at my list of players real fast just to clarify. Uh, I'm going to give it to Scott Boss. I can Scott agree Boss with that one as well. Surpassed anything players that I can't I say ever it would have me more. Not just as a player, I've been impressed with him as a captain. Um, yeah, you know, me too. Taking sure. care of yeah. things, running things, you know, corralling the team, disciplining the the unruly children. You know, he he's just been good overall. He's been a great guy. Uh, so it's it's been a real pleasure being on his team. A lot of respect to him as a player and as a captain. Yeah, I hope things are going as fun on your guys' side as they are for ours. Like everyone in our group chat's having a lot of fun with it, and that's, no one's getting too salty at each other. Well. Oh, Not yeah. at all, actually. Like it's all good times over in. Yeah, Sky. I mean it's I'm greener fine. on our side, but it's fine. I feel Absolutely. like I have to say "sai" about ten times per day in the chat. Then I need you do that to anyway. That's Jank. That's not the <laughs> anti jank Orange is the min mini silent. It's emo, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna change your name to right now. Actually, <laughs> so give me a second. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, I think that wraps us up. Um, I'm going to end the recording. 
But big thank you to everyone who watched live, anybody who's watching the recording as well. An even bigger thank you to all the guests, Zanxis, Orange Baby, Evolution, Kind of to Jay, Low Carbon, Mastodon, <laughs> Mr. Math, and Skimmy for joining us here. I can't believe you deleted my picture, you Neanderthal. Sorry. And a good night to everyone.